I don't want to see nobody toenails longer than they nails. I don't want to see nobody long toenails. Don't, don't show me. and welcome back to another vlog today i am in the beauty room and i am at the chair so we are talking y'all we are talking yeah we're gonna chit chat today mm -hmm. i thought you know what i want to talk to y'all i haven't been on i haven't did this like in forever just sitting down talking to you guys without doing anything else so that is what i am gonna do today yes and guys we have two topics that we're gonna talk about today okay okay so before we get started, go grab some chips, go grab you a drink, and come on back. I'll wait for you. Okay, I'm back. Thanks for coming back. Um, if you're new, hello and welcome. I hope today will be the day that you will come on and be a part of this family. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. I would love to have you join the family. If you are returning, hello, welcome back, and thank you so much for coming back. And if today is not the day that you're gonna become a part of the family, maybe tomorrow will. Just go ahead and continue to think about it. We're still gonna be here though. So with that being said, y'all, I was like, you know what? I was listening to the radio the other day. Y'all know they be having some good conversations on the radio. So I was like, heard this conversation about how do you know if your man is a high maintenance man? Well, when they started reading them, I'm like, hmm, is my man a high maintenance man? Will, Chucky, AKA, are you high maintenance? Okay, so they came, they compiled this list together and they were speaking about all the things that they considered was a high maintenance man. And I was like, now some of my man, some of these things did relate to my man, but do you consider it to be, if he's like one, two, three, four of them out of 10, do you still consider him to be a high maintenance man? Or do you like, well, if he don't have all 10 of them, he's not high maintenance. How many does it take to be on the list to be considered to be high maintenance? I wanna know. What do y'all think? Does it consist of the whole list? Or does it consist, if, even if it's one, if it's one, he's a high maintenance man. Okay, what is a high maintenance man? I wrote it down and I have it over there. First thing, he throws a tantrum if he doesn't get his way. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I had to do a conference call, so. But anyway, so we were talking about 10 signs that you know that you have a high maintenance man. And the first one was, he throws a tantrum if he doesn't get his way. Uh, my husband does not throw a tantrum if he doesn't get his way. My husband is really easy peasy going. He is go with the go with the flow type of person. So he really is very, very um, easy to please. Not my high maintenance when it comes to, or he doesn't really throw tantrums. Only time I would say that he throws tantrums if he's upset at me. And I don't know if that's so much of him throwing a tantrum, but he gets to a quiet mode. But yeah, but as far as him throwing a tantrum because he don't get his way, I can't see that being my husband. My husband don't throw no tantrum because he don't get his way. My husband is so easy going. It's just like, okay, you wanna do this? Okay, that's fine. So yeah, I, but me, I'll throw a tantrum in a minute. If I don't get my way, I'll be like, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> but we're talking about men. So the second one is he expects a response to a text immediately. Now that is my husband. If my husband texts me and I don't text him back, oh my God, you would think the end of the world is coming to, you would think the world is coming to an end, y'all. He thinks that if he texts me that he should get a response back just like that. If I don't have my phone on me, I don't know you text. And some days I don't even have my phone by me. I'm working from home now. I can have my phone in another room and he swear up and down, you have that phone everywhere you go. No, I do not. Why do you think I carry this phone around with me everywhere I go? And he'll say, cause you do? No, I don't. I do not take my phone. Sometimes I can, and now I can have my phone, um, just say I'm working in my office and I get up and go somewhere. I'm, I don't, it don't even dawn on me to take my phone. If I go to the front door, if I go to look out the window for my break, I get two 15 minute breaks. So if I get up and walk away from my desk during my break, 
I'm away from my desk and my phone is still there. I'm just trying to zen out. He will text me and I don't reply back. We get so upset. He gets upset if I don't answer his call when he calls and if I don't text him back. He will get pissed. I'm like, what's the sense in having a phone if you ain't calling, if you ain't answering it? Babe, I ain't got the phone by me. You ain't got that phone on Ringer. I'm like, really though? <laughs> he throws, now he will throw a tantrum for that. Yes, I think I, I have that phone in my hand, looking at it 24 seven, not doing anything else. That's not me. I don't do that, but he think, he swear up and down that that's what I do, y'all. Is he high maintenance because of that? Can I check? Can I say high maintenance? <laughs> the third one is, he needs to hear I love you several times a day. Y'all man needs to hear I love you several times a day. If you do, he's high maintenance. Um, I know, not necessarily. My husband, I don't think, it, you know, I don't know because I say it to him all the time. So if I don't say it, I know when I, I was texting him um, a while ago, every morning, and I would just text him nice little quotes and encouraging quotes and I love yous, and I didn't do it. I had stopped, I was just, it wasn't that anything happened, I just stopped, I was just doing something else. And you don't send me no text no more, you don't tell me you, you love me. I'm like, yes I do. <laughs> so I've learned with that, don't start something if you can't finish it. But, um, so yeah, he does want to hear that he he's loved quite a few times and he'll tell me he don't, but if I don't tell him I love him, he'll be thinking something is wrong. You didn't tell me you love me. Really though, I tell you every day I love you. So if I stop telling him, believe me you, he would definitely say something, definitely. So yeah, so I would say that's, the second thing, so I don't know how many, like I said, I don't know how many of these on the list that has to be checked off before he be considered a high maintenance man or if it has to be the whole list. So I'm thinking a couple of them, it would say that, yeah, you high maintenance. So one of the other things is he's always late. Oh my God. That should have been number one. My husband, my, my boo, he is forever late oh my god and he rushed when he's late what is gonna make you there any quicker you're already late i'm like babe why are you rushing you already late he is late for everything every and anything he is late i mean he's late for work he's late to church he's late for dinner he's late he's late he's late he is late for everything, but he is always late. I don't know what I can do to make him get to places on time. I have tried so many things. I would tell him that, that you know, I, dinner reservations would be at six and I tell him that dinner reservations is at five. He's still late for six. He is just late. That should have been his middle name, late. He's late so he, make, I'm, he makes me late and I'm like, we would be getting ready for church. And I'd be like, babe, we need to go, okay. We need to go, okay. But we were supposed to go out to dinner, or no, actually, we went out to dinner last Saturday. So I was telling him uh, where well, he made the reservations. So I think reservations was at six. We made it there at six, but by the hair of the chinny chin chin. I think we got there like at six oh something. It wasn't, it wasn't quite six. It was a little bit after six, but nonetheless, we did make it there. But boy, oh boy. He was rushing and he was, and then he's driving like a maniac and I'm just sitting over there and he's like, your feet, why are you study pressing the brake over there? There is no brake over there, Deborah. Cause I'm like, the way you driving, Willie, oh my God, this ain't no police car. Like I said, he, and he rushes when he's late. I'm like, why are you rushing? You're already late. So you might as well take your time. Uh, if we make it there, we make it. If we don't, we don't. And he know I tell him that all the time. I'm like, it is what it is now. So there's no reason to be, to be rushing. If y'all have something and y'all invite us, y'all can just make sure that we gonna be walking in late. Not to make a grand entrance or anything like that. We're just late. We just can't get it together. We can't get it together. We can't. We cannot get it together to save our lives. So, we late. My parents have something. My sisters have something. We late. We just never on time. Cannot get there on time. I cannot stress. Oh, oh my God. But yeah. Okay, moving on. So, he spends longer time in the bathroom than you do. Um, 
no nah, i wouldn't say that he does my husband get a bald head so he shaves um but as far as and he has a beard but a lot of time in the bathroom getting ready I don't, I don't see that i would say if anything picking out his clothes as far as what he's gonna wear um that may take a while um because he got to ask me does this match this does this go with that i'm like babe yes and he he asked me does this the shoes match the belt or the shoes match the pants or the shoes match the and i'm like yes and he would still go get something else why did you ask willie why why did you add that's my husband y'all so i wouldn't say he spent more time in the bathroom but he definitely spent more time getting himself together than i do um the next one is he spends a lot of time on his look or appearance so i guess i just answered that one so yeah he does um spend a lot of time on his look and appearance when we're going out he wants to look right and i, I don't blame him i want him to look good so take your time boo do what you gotta do your wife your sugar thing is here i'm waiting i'll wait patiently because I want my man to look good. Mm -hmm. I want him smelling good. I want him, as they say, GQ, mm -hmm. from the head to the toe, yes. So I'll wait and be patient, yep, but yeah, he is. So moving on to the next one, it says, um, he won't wear anything that is a name brand. He won't wear anything that isn't a designer, and that is not true, not when it comes to my husband. He is not one when it comes to designer uh, fashion, so he is very, if it looks nice, um, he, he likes nice things. He likes nice things. He likes to look nice. He likes to, and I tell him all the time, and not saying because something is more expensive that it's better, but sometimes it's a better quality than something that is not affordable, if that kind of makes sense. Not all the time, but a lot of times. And I'm tell, I always tell him, babe, spend a little bit more. You're gonna get what you pay for. You go out there and buy a uh, 40, 50, $60 pair of shoes and you can only expect to wear those shoes for um, maybe a month, maybe two months, I don't know. But I always stress to tell him to, and I'm like, you work. There's nothing wrong with having nice things. Go out and buy you some nice things. But I just like nice things. And I always tell my husband, I'm like, you work, you work hard. You every now and then deserve to go out there and treat yourself. I would buy him nice things. I would buy him um, name brand things. And I just like seeing my man look nice. Um, for, <clears throat> what was that, for Valentine's Day, I brought him an Hermes belt. He still ain't worn it yet. But he was gonna wear it last Saturday when we went out to dinner. And he has some shoes that is the same color as the belt because my husband liked to match. My husband, when he get together, when he put on his clothes, head to toe, he be, he be looking good, smelling good, looking good. So his belt has to match his shoes. And I told him, I was like, why don't you just um, wear the belt with some more shoes? Now I gotta match my shoes. And he took his shoes to the shoe shining man and the shoe shining man messed them up so he wasn't able to wear it. But he took them back that Monday and they ended up fixing them. But by then it was too late because we had already been out to dinner and all of that was didn't even matter anymore. So maybe he'll be wearing it in the future. But I love buying him nice things. I love to see him looking good. I love to see him smelling good. I'll buy him nice cologne. I'll buy him nice clothes. I'll buy him nice shoes. And I just like to get him nice things. So, yep, so, but he, if it was up to him, as long as it's nice. And my husband is very, very, very frugal when it comes to his money. He ain't trying to spend a lot of money on nothing, 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 nada. He's not trying to spend a lot of money. So yeah, so next thing is he refused to go camping. Well, I wouldn't couldn't say that about my husband. He, I think I refuse to go camping. He always asks me, babe, let's go camping. Camping is not me. I ain't gonna go to nobody camping ground and sleep on no hard, cold ground. No, thank you. I pass. No, no, thank you. I pass. So he loves the outdoors. He loves fishing. He loves um, just doing things outdoors. I like, most I would do outdoors is walking. He likes um, big picnics. Um, or family reunion like settings but I don't I'm not really an outdoorsy person 
I'll sit in my back or sit on my front porch. But as far as that, that's it. I love outdoors. I love the heat. I love the hot weather, but I'm not really an outdoorsy person. <clears throat> I don't like bugs. I don't like no bugs. Yeah, that's not me. Mm -mm, that's not him. So nope, so he refuses to use public transportation. Uh, not so much, my husband will use public transportation. I don't like using public transportation, but he'll jump on a bus and he doesn't complain. He's fine with using public transportation. So I wouldn't say that, you know, he that would be him. Mm -mm. He only eats at nice restaurants. Nah, that's not true neither, because my husband will eat wherever he is when he's hungry, so. He like good food and I don't really like nice restaurants myself. Um, I like nice restaurants, but I don't like like high price restaurants because the food palette does not match my food palette. My son always tell me, Ma, y'all need to explore more. Y'all need to get out and try new things, try different foods that y'all haven't tried. My palate does not uh, doesn't have those types types of taste buds. I like stuff that stuff that I like, and, and some places the food they that they serve is just like uh, I'll pass. <laughs> so just give me some salmon, a steak, a burger, a turkey burger, um, shrimp. I am so plain. I am plain when it comes to my food. I don't want to try all of that other stuff. Mm -mm. This been this been working good. This, this plate, this has been working real good for me, so I'll stick to that, so yeah. So yeah, so he don't do it, I don't do it, and we go out together, so. Okay, so that was the 10 signs of how you know you have a high maintenance man. Okay, now ladies, ladies, it's your turn. Not to see if you have maintenance, but this is things, it's things that ladies should not do. It's a no when it comes to your toenail being longer than your fingernails. Oh, don't do it, y'all. I don't wanna see it. I don't wanna see it. I don't wanna see it. <laughs> I don't wanna see it, please, no. Um, I cannot, yeah, I can't. I don't, I, I can't. Why, why do you wanna do that? Why do you want your toenails to be long like fingernails? I don't understand it. Don't do that, y'all. That is not cute. It's not cute. It's not cute. I. I, that's not cute. It's not. Stop doing it. Stop it. I, for the life of me, I cannot understand why women love long toenails. I like my toenails short, real short, where you can't see over it. Mm -mm. I like it flat and just short. I don't want no long toenails. I'm like, don't that hurt? I remember one day my husband and I, we went into, um, the furniture store, the um, furniture place or some furniture store. And it was a young lady there was working there. So we had went to the back to the cashier to pay for our stuff. And I happened to look down at her feet and she was an employee there. And I was like, oh my God, her toenail? So just say this was her um, toenail. Stop right here. Her toe. Her nail came up about like, like that. I'm like, why? <gasps> oh no, it looks so painful. I'm like, when you walk, don't when you walk, your, so when you walk, your toes go up first before your heel. So don't they hit the sidewalk or the floor or the concrete or, yeah, I just don't get it, y'all. That's not cute. Mm -mm. I don't want to see nobody toenails longer than they nails. I don't want to see nobody long toenails. Don't don't show me that. Don't y'all don't do it. Don't do it this summer, please. Go and get those toenails cut down and look cute, look classy. But that's not cute. Mm -mm. That's not cute. I just y'all can say what you want to say. I'm gonna say what I want to say. And long toenails ain't cute. No, it's not cute. Stop it. Period, boo. Period. <laughs> it's not cute. Another thing a lady should stop doing 
is stop apologizing all the time. Oh my God, that drives me so freaking crazy when I hear a woman apologize all the time. Stop apologizing for this or, um, oh, I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings or I'm sorry if I did this or I'm sorry. No, just do you, just do you and stop apologizing. You don't have to continue to apologize for anything that you do. You have the right to do whatever you want to do and do what you do. You don't have to apologize for it. So stop apologizing women. Stop apologizing for being you. Stop apologizing for doing what you do. You do what you want to do. Stop apologizing for it, please. I cannot stand to see a woman just constantly apologizing. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, I'm not sorry. Darn it, I'm not sorry. No, I'm doing me. I'm gonna do me and you do you. And if I don't like something that you do, I have the right to not like it. Point blank, period. So yeah, stop apologizing all the time. It's not that serious. So I don't wanna hear it and just continue to do you. So that is something that is on my list that I think women should stop doing is stop apologizing. Sorry, but it's true. The next thing that I think women should stop doing is stop saying yes to everyone else instead of themselves. They say yes to everything else. And then when it comes to themselves, they like, no, nah, I'm not gonna do that. Oh, I'll pass on that. No, do you go in and, and stop saying yes to everything else and start saying yes to yourself. Start saying yes to fixing yourself up. Start saying yes to those clothes. Start saying yes to some pretty shoes. Start saying yes to yourself. You can do it and stop saying yes to everybody else, okay? Um, the next thing that I think women should stop doing is it's called body snarking. What is body snarking? Body snarking is AKA, AKA fat shaming. So this is done over the internet or on social media. When you look at people on social media and you be like, oh, ooh, she shouldn't do that. Or ooh, she shouldn't have that on. Or ooh, she shouldn't. Yes, yeah, she should. She could do whatever she want to do. Maybe your taste is not what they taste is. And that's okay. Everybody have their own taste. So what's the problem? I don't get it. You maybe somebody don't like what you got on right now, and that's okay because you doing you, you doing what you like to do. What? I was gonna say Carolina. Oh yeah, go ahead. Um, if they say yes, they gonna end up broke. For which one? What you just talking about? Say yes to shoes. He's trying to put people. Ah, uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, say yes to everything. Say say yes to yourself. <laughs> but um, yeah, so body snarking. That is body snarking when you shaming people on social media because you feel that they um, are too big for what they have on. They doing them and if that's what they wanna wear then hey, tip my hat to them, go do you. One other thing that I would like to stop seeing or yeah, I guess I would stop seeing um, is I cannot stand to see a woman with chip fingernail polish on her nails or on her toenails. That is so unexcusable. It's fingernail polish remover everywhere you go. Walgreens, CVS, uh, Target, uh, any local store, you're gonna find fingernail polish remover. Y'all, if you have fingernail polish on your nails and it's chipping off, just go ahead and take it off. Don't go out in public, don't go out to dinner, don't go to work on public transportation with your fingernails or your toenails with chip polish, please. That is so just a big no for me. I'd be like, oh, I'd be wanting to go get a cotton swab and some um, fingernail polish remover <laughs> and just be like, can I just take that off? I, I, have, I, I have OCD and I guess these are OCD things that I just, can't stand to see it it's just like something being uneven i for the life of me cannot stand to see something uneven they have to be even so it's ocd so don't blame it on me blame it on the ocd that's in me so yeah so that's the same thing with fingernail polish and chipped fingernail polish or chipped 
um, toenail polish. It's my OCD kicks in and I'm just like cringing, like, oh my God, I can't even look at it. Like, why? Why do they do that? Oh my God. But I'm sorry, y'all. These are just things that I just think women should stop doing. I, I do. So yeah, but those are just some of the things that I think women should stop doing. What's another thing I think a woman should stop doing? Is wearing poor quality, fake designer items. Whether it be in clothing, your seamstress um, can't make an original LV um, outfit. I'm sorry, they just ain't gonna do it. They just ain't. When you go and have a, a name brand Gucci, Louis Vuitton, hat, mask, shirt, probably bra, um, pants, shoes, y'all stop it. You know that is not name brand. You know it. First of all, Louis Vuitton, I don't even think they make stuff like that or Gucci. Y'all be Gucci down from head to toe in fake stuff. It just, it ain't cute. It ain't. I mean, you can do you if that's what you want to do, but it ain't cute. I'm telling you now. So if you watching this video and you got on Gucci from head to toe that your seamstress didn't made for you, um, it ain't cute. It's not why why do that to yourself i don't understand why people do that to themselves i'll just be like really though that's what we doing that's what we doing mm -mm, not over here yeah i just i i just can't get with it i just don't understand it i don't understand i if i was a seamstress and somebody brought me some fabric of louis vuitton or gucci and wanted a whole outfit in this i would be like hell no to the no 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 <laughs> Be like, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing that. But hey, I guess they paying them, so they go ahead and do it. But that ain't cute. It is not cute. Y'all comment down below. If y'all have saw probably this year, and I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only people that see it. You go on social media, you see it. Is that, oh, is that called body snarking? <laughs> well, if that's called body snarking, I guess I'm doing it. I'm guilty of it. Because if I see somebody with a head-to-toe on um, name brand outfit that somebody then made for them, I'm looking at them like they know they need their butt whoop. That is not even cute. Yeah, but people doing it, I, I just look at them. I'm like, mm-mm, nope. Nope, try again, come again, come again another day. Mm-mm, that ain't it. Uh, and another thing that I have that is a big pet peeve of mine, and actually I, I was talking to my daughter about it. It's, it was a YouTuber on here, and she's very well known. I'm not gonna say no names, because I'm not putting no names out there. But one thing I cannot stand to see is somebody come on social media, whether it be on YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook, and post a video or a picture with clothes on the floor, the background of your house is tore up from the floor up. I'm just looking like, clean your house up, please. Just, even if you don't wanna clean it up, move the items to the side, take your pictures, take your video, and then you can go back to being mm, messy boots. But that is not cute. That is not. Clean your house up before you go filming or before you go start taking some pictures. I'm like, when I'm videoing, or taking pictures, I'm like looking all around me, making sure my backdrop is good, making sure everything behind me is good. Um, now the front may be a mess. Anything that I'm looking out may be a mess, but you won't see it. You ain't gonna see it, but you gonna see what's behind me and it's gonna be together. But anything in front of me, you ain't gonna see it, boo-boo. Not if it's a mess, mm -mm. I, I, I don't even like a mess. I like things nice, neat, clean. Um, I asked my husband yesterday, I'm like, what if I just cleaned up one day out of a month? Would that be okay with you? And he was like, no. <laughs> I, I just cannot, I don't see how people do that. Y'all, I have to clean. When I clean my house up, I'm telling y'all, I clean my refrigerator out. And this, I do this every week. I clean my refrigerator out. I clean my stove from top to bottom. I clean my microwave in and out. I just, I clean up under my couches just in case dust, um, um, what is that dust up under it? I, I clean everything in my bathroom. I was on my hands and knees Saturday cleaning baseboards. Yes, the baseboards. I just, I like things nice, clean, and in order. Decent and in order is me. 
So y'all, that's gonna wrap up my video on the top things of, or the 10 signs of how to tell if your man is high maintenance and things that women should not do. I'll be back because I got some more. I got some more that I wanna, I wanna let y'all know. Um, yeah, so comment down below. Let me know if you have something that you would like to add to the list that you think that should be on that top 10 if your man is high maintenance. I wanna know what y'all saying. If you have something that you think is a uh, dead, if your man do this, he's high maintenance. Comment down below, let me know. I wanna know. Or comment down below and let me know or let the ladies know what they should not be doing. You grown, you can do that. I, I'm giving y'all the permission to do that. So if you think a woman should not do something, comment down below, because I would love to know. Those are just some of the things I think a woman shouldn't do, but I'm sure y'all got some. So if y'all got some, comment down below. I would love to hear. And this has been so much fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. If you are new to my video, become a part of my family, come on. And hit that subscribe button. If you don't do it today, maybe tomorrow. We'll wait till tomorrow. But if you want to do it today, we welcome you in today. So go ahead and just hit that subscribe button. And if you return and y'all already know, hey, welcome and thank you so much for coming back. I so greatly appreciate it. Guys, I'm going to wrap up this video and I will chit chat with y'all in my next video. So until then, y'all know what? Love, peace, and happiness. Go and do something good for yourself like sharing this video because I'm sure somebody else would love to see it. So go share this video with your friends, your family, your girlfriend, the girl around the corner, your enemy, your frenemy whoever share this video with them share the love that's what we want to do share the love yes and i will talk with y'all in my next one so until then bye deuces bye watch me under the light so keep me in your sight because i can do this all night